get you some. Oh, yeah. Mate, it's lucky she can cook. Wow! G'day lovelies and welcome back. I hope you all had a good weekend. Alrighty, first up tonight, simple tuna patties. What we're going to need is 650 grams of potatoes. So I weighed them up and five small potatoes worked out to 650 grams. We need to peel them, cut them, stick them in some water, boil them up. When the fork goes through and they're soft, we want to drain them really well. We need a 425 gram can of drained tuna. The only one I could get was in olive oil because the one in spring water cost an extra $2 because spring water costs more than olive oil, right? We're gonna need sweet chili sauce. We need a couple of tablespoons of lemon juice and I don't have any, so I'm gonna use lime juice. We need one egg. We need a couple of spring onions and while the potatoes are cooking, I'm gonna slice them up, clean them up and slice them up nice and fine. Some salt and pepper. And if you've got fresh parsley, you want two tablespoons chopped. I've only got the dry parsley, so that will have to do today, and I'll use a tablespoon. We're going to need some breadcrumbs and a little bit of oil to shallow fry. Once we've drained them well, add salt and pepper. Now we want to dry mash them. We don't want to put anything in there except for the salt and pepper. Once we've done that, we want to put it all into a large bowl, and we want to leave it sit there until it goes completely cold at room temperature. We now want to add our mangled can of tuna and as we put it in there you want to break it all up and bring it out nice and fluffy. Mate, don't get the ones in oil. I've got oil from here to ask, so I'm telling you. Now we want to add one egg, our sliced spring onions, two tablespoons of fresh chopped parsley or one tablespoon of dry, two tablespoons of lemon juice or in my case, lime juice, and two tablespoons of sweet chilli sauce. Now we want to mix them all three. Alright, once we've done that, we then want to flatten the whole thing out. Once we've done that, we want to make eight patties up. So I'm just going to mark, yeah, my terrible halves. So when we go to scoop it out, we've got the rough measurements of each one. Now you can roll them in your breadcrumbs like that, but I like to cover it up and stick it in the fridge for half an hour. It just stiffens it up a little bit and makes it a bit easier, but you don't have to. You can roll them straight away. All right, now we're going to get some crumbs ready. I'm just going to use store-bought ones today. All right, then we want to scoop out our first piece into a ball. Into the crumbs. Onto a plate and keep on going. Alrighty, once we've done that, and as you can see, I've done them stunningly even. Alright, we want to get out a bowl and whack an egg in there. Chuck a little drizzle of milk. Whisk it up. And go again. I think crumbing them twice makes like the crumbs nice and thick and beautiful. And I reckon crumbing them like that the first time and then doing it makes it a lot easier as well to handle. This time I'm going to flatten them down to patties. Fat patties. And keep on going. Alrighty, now we've got our eight awesome patties ready to go. We can either fry them up straight away. Or you can glad wrap the top of them and chuck them in the fridge and fry them up as you need them. Alright, so we want a little over a medium heat. And to shallow fry means you want to cover the bottom of whatever frying pan you're using in oil. Now I'm using um, olive oil, but that's just because of what I've got. Just use anything you've got. And if you don't have any oil at all, I would just use butter and maybe crank it up just a little bit higher. So basically we want to cook them, once that heats up, we want to cook them for roughly five minutes on either side. We just want them that beautiful, dark, gorgeous brown colour and heated through, that's all we need. And I'll put them on paper towel before I put them on the plates to serve them up. 
Oh my god, mate. Best simple tuna patties ever. Jeez, I hope you can pick that up. Oh, you have got to give them a crack. Your family is going to love them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Toodles.